Hi, my name is Hannah Scholl. My Lutic dam is Agashuk, which means cormorant. I am a Kodiak Lutic dancer, I'm an artist, and I'm a mom. And today we're going to talk a little bit about a Lutic dance, and then we're going to go ahead and learn a song together. And so I'm going to jump right in and start with some basics. So one thing to always remember when you're dancing a Lutic dance is you keep your hands closed. So when you're dancing, your fingers are not like this. Your fingers are always closed. Another thing to remember is when we're not dancing, we're standing like this. Our legs together, our hands behind our back, and we're smiling. Also, when we hear the drum beat, Ezra, give me a drum beat. Whenever you hear the drum beat, you bend your knees. Awesome. Okay, so I have Ezra here. Ezra, why don't you come over here and introduce yourself? Ezra is my oldest son. Chmai, hui as your soul, I'm as your. Awesome. How long have you been dancing for? I've been dancing since I was three years old. He's been dancing since he was three, and how old are you now? Eleven. Awesome. And he's gonna be our drummer. He's gonna be sitting off screen, relaxing, so that we can go over the moves together. So, I thought it would be fun if we would learn an old traditional Olympic song together. This song was taught to the Kodiak Olympic dancers by Larry Mathe years and years ago, but it's an old song and there's different versions of it all throughout the island. And what it's talking about is um, a guduk. So if you haven't heard about what a guduk is, a guduk is a Olympic ice cream. And instead of being made with cream and sugar or milk, and sugar and ice. A guduk is made with uh, dried salmon or dried meat and berries and fat. Sometimes it's um, deer fat or caribou fat, um, but also sometimes it's Crisco. And what you do is you put those ingredients in a bowl and then you whip them up and then you eat them. Super yummy delicacy, super tasty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn the song Aguduk together. So the moves to this are super easy, but the words are a bit much. So if you don't get the words, don't worry about it. Just do the best you can and practice bouncing your knees and moving your arm. And also, if you want, I will go ahead and attach another video of just me singing the song of Guduk with the words and definition underneath it. And that way you can um, follow along with that if you wanna practice on your own at home. So the first thing that you do is you take your left hand and you make a bowl like this. And you take your right hand this is your spoon and you go like this and if you can do this you can do all the moves to the song except for one at the very end so this song talks about a mom and a dad in the kitchen making a gudak and then the baby of the family which is called kukuwak comes in and steals the aguduk and all the parents can do is lick the spoon and that's the last verse la, la, la. just like that so our hands are closed we're standing like this and we're ready to go we're gonna do four in and we're gonna go slow Ma time we do it a little bit faster. Oh, one thing I also forgot to mention, 
because when we are lutic dancing, we always make sure that we're having plenty of water so that our vocal cords stay nice and hydrated. And we always make sure that before we dance, we stretch. So I'm gonna pause. I'm going to get my water and then we're gonna do a couple stretches and then we're gonna start speeding up the song. So hold on one second. Chamai, I'm back. I have my water bottle and I'm ready to take some deep breaths and we're gonna do some stretches. First, I'm gonna get a drink of water. Remember, it's important to stay hydrated. Okay, so before we start, we're gonna shake, shake our arms, shake it all out. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, and then we're gonna take a deep breath in and reach up to the sky. And then a deep breath out and reach down to our toes. Oh, go slow. Take care of your back and slowly come up. Good. And shake it all out. This is also good for morning wake-ups. Okay, I have my water, did my stretches. We did our warm-up run-through of a Gudak super slow. Now we're gonna start again. So what I'm gonna have you do, we're gonna do it a little bit more to pace right now. What I'm gonna have you do is take your left hand, make your agudak bowl, take your right hand, make your spoon, and we're gonna do a four count in. the pace a little bit. Remember, when you hear the drum beat, you're going to be bouncing your knees. And as it goes faster, you bounce your knees more. One thing to remember about a lutic dance is if you're not sweating, you're not doing it right. So, shake it out, everybody, shake it out. And we're going to do it at a medium speed. Four count in, left side with your bowl, right side with your spoon. Four count in. Remember, another thing to remember about a lutic dance is that it's meant to be fun. So go ahead and laugh and enjoy your time dancing. <laughs> and Ezra, he was off screen, but he was doing the stretches and warming up with us. And so he's good to go. So step into this frame. Good. His bowl is on his left side. His spoon is on his right. And you can look right there. 
Ready? Ahelo, malok, singayon, kira. one more time because I did not see his knees bend. So make sure that when you're dancing, your knees are bending, right? Show us your knees bend. Okay, ready? Kleana for being here. Kleana for learning with us. 